Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Grimshade. It is by either Tail Rock, Tellerock, or something along those lines. It's Tail Rock, all one word, however you want to pronounce it. It's fine. Uh, Asterian Games, and it released on March 26th, 2019. So I have not played the game yet, but we're going to hop in, we're going to begin, we're going to see what it's all about. Hopefully you guys are on board with that, and we shall begin now. Special character skills of the other operations, or sorry, operators, can be improved with matching ether crystals, or ether crystals, or either crystals, or the other's crystals of ether, it's fine. It won't be long now. A few more days, and the work of many lifetimes will bear fruit, says Gorksk Pershaw. All right. I shall right the injustice, seize the light, and put a stop to all that madness. Perseverance is the key. Now, what is to be your contribution, my friend? He, uh, he's seen some better days. Oh. I was filling us up with liquid there, huh? A marvelous specimen. A dozen more like you, and my triumph is assured. There is no stopping the inevitable. My legacy is to stand ever vigilant. Okay. I'm a, I'm a little confused by what's going on right now, so if you could... Oh. Damn, what are those buffoons playing at? Darkness, take them. I was categorical about avoiding damage to the facilities. Number 11, present yourself at once. Okay, not real sure what's going on, but it's probably bad. Or good. Or both. Somehow. Now what's this? Illuminated be the path of alchemists who gift us their blessing. In our darkest hours, in times of doubt and sorrow, may the load star shine forth. The moment it draws near, Lambent Sisters. Okay. What's going on? Let us be the embodiment of the guiding light to the people of Braun. Finally, with the load star complete, after ages in the making, we shall perform our duty with the aid of miraculous power to heal the wounded, cure the ailing. In humble service of the people we walk our path, Shallah be our light be praised. Shallah, 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 Shallah. Oh, and she teleported in. What? That was no accident. There is an intruder in our midst. Intruder, I sent you all presents. You tread where you do not belong. Be gone from this sacred place. We are no strangers to the darkness. Foolish child, as you are no doubt aware. Oh, this? This little light show isn't for you. It's for what passes as gods in this hold. My, but I do forget my manners, ladies. Much apologies for interrupting the ceremony, but I'll be taking this little bauble for myself, if you don't mind. Nothing personal, but I'd rather be put to good use than left to uh, benefit a bunch of uh, charlatans. No mere mortal may channel the power of the light. You'll bring ruin upon yourself. Its nature does. Yes, yes, I've heard all that rigmarole before. Keep calm, sisters. Help is, no doubt, already on its way. As much as I enjoyed such enlightening or enlightened company, I fear I must cut this short. See you, my dears. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit late there. The intruder! Where is he? Aren't you a little late, son? They took the lodestar. Go tell Gorsk that I'm going to have a word with him about this, and inform the god captain the relic must be found and returned to its rightful place. Interesting. Try to foresee the behavior of your foes. Perhaps they would want to move from the cell at which... Oh. The Spicy Wind Tavern. What's going on outside, Charlie? It's war war -roo. war war -roo. war war -roo. war war -roo. I, I got nothing. Trouble in the streets. A lot of confusion. Can't really tell what's happening. 
The square outside is full of soldiers. I'm sure I heard shots fired. Darkness take you, you dusty old fool. I told you something bad was going on outside. Just you try and go out there again. I should point out, Mr. Glassington, that there's no mention of any unrest in the papers. Here, see for yourself. Front page news is about the na name day of His Majesty the King. <laughs> Good evening, Dorian. Didn't see you come in. It's the morning issue you've got there. The mess outside started not too long ago. Well, this isn't good. Warwaru! He changed his name. It's now with two O's instead of a W. It's fine. We should have a candle somewhere. Oh, it's Judy Goodwin. How long do you think this will last? I'm terribly afraid of the dark. Oh, Mr. Charlie. The, are candles really such a good idea? What if someone is attacking the city? What if they notice us? Don't be daft, woman. Turn the lights back on for the love of... Oh, uh, well, light. I, I had a winning hand here. Charlie, don't be a miser. Go fire up that backup ether generator you've got stashed in the cellar, why don't you? Now, now, Philip. That was uncalled for. Let me just... Nope, oh, see? Problem's fine. You and your cards, Philip. The building could be up in flames, and you'd still be placing bets and drawing hands. I wonder where things are going, or wonder when things are going to quiet down outside. Staying indoors would be best, I think. Getting mixed up in this unsavory business would be less than ideal. Please, friends, settle down. We aren't kicking anyone out. You're welcome to stay here until it's safe to leave. Everyone here is our guest for the night. War, war, ooh. Put some uh, Thai yan on the boil and give poor Judy a glass of guar to calm the jitters. Don't want anyone fainting on me, nah. The lights are back on. Light willing, the streets will clear up soon, too. What? I do not understand the things that are happening. Dead. An anticipated setback. However, time is growing short. Well, that's not good. Who are these guys? Number 11. Get rid of that thing. Those in the corner, too. And clean this mess up. Post haste, please. And by the light, deliver one of finer stock. You have the entire kingdom to select from. Well, see, what happened was... He was the closest, so we took him. The umbrage this is the how it started. The gears of fate screeched as they pulled the curtain on the rotten, wobbly stage called Bran. No other future could await the kingdom that lies near the dark source. Just as it seemed that things couldn't get any worse, as the bloodthirsty monsters of shadow were surrounding the huge city, longing to devour the citizens, the army of Bespierre, a neighboring country, started the invasion. Dark times like these always nurture the burning hearts, thirsting for the truth. Coming to seek for it, the hero would start untangling the intertwined events, getting caught up in the threads of fate, like a restless kitten. The absolute turmoil makes it almost impossible to discover the truth. The inexperienced heroes would fall out of people's graces. They run and suffer, desperate to find out who's to blame for the misery. The injustice. Oh, miserables. What shall they do with their aspiration now? Chaos is ever daydor. Depending on so many factors, predetermined and certain, like time itself. But heroes would search for the villain persistently. They need a scapegoat to put the blame on. It is vitally important to find a reason for their heroic being. So, today, they chose... Me. Okay, not sure who me is, but that's fine. 
That fall nearly killed me. If it wasn't for the gauntlet, I'd be... Well, good thing I finally got it to work. I wonder why now of all times. Ugh, it hurts all over. I must have fallen in the umbrage wield. It's dangerous here. I gotta get moving while I still can. Alright. Oh. Left click on any passable terrain to move to where the cursor is pointing. Press and hold the left mouse button to move in the direction of the cursor. Okay. Look at me. I can run everywhere. What's this? When people talking about leaving a mark in the world. This isn't what they meant. That's, that's funny. Uh-oh. Creepy guy. Looks like we're going to be doing battle. This is your first battle. This one shouldn't pose much of a problem, even if you're new to tactical games. However, there are a few key concepts that you should be aware of from the start. Characters fight using combat skills. The list of all available skills is displayed in the bottom right of the screen, directly above the portrait of the currently acting character. Every character has a set of skills that is unique to that particular character. Each of these skills serve a unique function within the game, which we will go over later. Oh, the battlefield is divided into two separate sides. The left half belongs to the player and the one on the right to the enemy. The enemy characters are unable to cross to the player's side and vice versa. Each side consists of three rows counted from the middle to the edges for each side. Okay. You can change the pitch by holding the right mouse button and you can scroll the mouse wheel. Okay. To use a melee skill, first left click on the topmost icon in Alistair's skill bar or use hotkeys 1 through 6 as indicated in the left image. Then left click on the highlighted enemy. Performing a melee attack is considered an action and will always and will always activate the next character in the timeline depicted at the bottom of the combat screen. Okay. I mean, I didn't quite kill it, but I did some damage. Oh, we avoided damage because we're super amazing. Alistair just avoided an attack. Some characters are capable of avoiding some or all of the effects of a skill that directly targets specific characters, like melee and range skills. Hmm. It's fascinating. A character will always avoid an attack if they have an avoidance token. Okay. It always takes one avoidance token to avoid one attack. What are avoidance tokens? And how do we know if we have them or what they are or where we get them? Or A character's avoidance tokens will be restored to their maximum at the beginning of each combat turn. Huh. I don't know what an avoidance token is, but I guess I have at least one of them? Well, it's time to say goodbye. Boop. Dead. Very nice. And that is a win, ladies and gentlemen. That is a win. Right, we got a dark ether crystal and some guts or something? I don't know. That was very strange. Alright, we shall move onward. There's a weird, creepy eyeball set in a lot of these trees. Oh, what's this? What is this? What in the... So many corpses? How? Grimshade has a significant amount of dialogue. Of course, you can skip them, but it will make it difficult for you to understand what's going on. To switch to the next phrase, click on the next in the dialogue window. You can also do this by right-clicking or by pressing the space bar. Using this button at the top of the screen, you can open and close the dialogue history. By pressing this button, you can skip the entire dialogue. Well. Hello? Are you okay? Who are you? Can you hear me? Who? The guy in the yellow cargo pants. What happened here? I don't know, sir. My my head. It's it's so loud. I'll save the questions for later. We're in the Umbridge Weald, and those creatures are all around. We have to go. Now. Do you understand? Can you walk? Y yes, sir. I I'll try. That's it. You're doing great. Just stick behind me. Yeah, this looks like sewage water. If we go upstream, we're bound to reach the city walls. 
All right, fair enough. What's your name, kid? Kiba, sir, I think. The name's Alistair. Alistair Garuda. At your service. Uh, let's... Oh, no! Oh, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Hold on, what's that on the ground? Looks like a gem of some sort. Maybe it's connected to this whole mess. Let me just grab that. Right now, let's move. Strange crystal. Kiba has joined the party. We have the Fallen One, which is now updated. You may come across objects you can interact with while exploring the world. When you hover your mouse over an object like that, the cursor will change to the one corresponding to the specific action you may perform on that object. The object will also be highlighted. To highlight all interactive objects within the field of view, press the key of tab, and it will teach you all you need to know. A lot of body looting. Fair enough. Alright, what do we got? It doesn't look like all these people were killed by the creatures of the wield. Those yellow cargo pants will haunt you forever. Not breathing. That body has deep wounds and sores. This is a large wound on the stomach. It looks like scavengers had already been here. Judging by the pose, he was still alive when he washed ashore. All these poor things were sturdy chaps. There's someone or something in the hollow. Curiosity is your worst enemy in the umbrage wield. Can I touch it? Can I, can, can, can I touch it? No, it's not going to let me touch it. That's fine. I didn't want to touch it anyway. Nah, no, you're crying. It's fine. All right, onward for another battle. All right, are we going to learn something new? We are. Action, timeline, and initiative. Sorry, guys, I'm I'm rehydrating. I'm feeling kind of dehydrated today. Very thirsty. At the bottom of the screen during battles, a timeline will appear, pictured above. That depicts the order in which characters will perform actions. Yep. Using skills, moving, and waiting are all considered actions. Performing any of these will end that character's turn and allow the next character in the timeline to act. The number pictured below the character portrait in the timeline are time units. The larger the number, the longer that character will have to wait for their turn. Okay. Most actions have a time unit cost, usually 5, 10, 15, or 20. When a character performs an action with a time unit cost, they will be moved along the timeline according to that cost. Waiting and moving cost 5 time units, unless modified by status effects. Using skills cost varying amounts of time units depending on their specific skill that's being used. The costs are depicted by this indicator in the skill icon or in the skills tooltip. All characters in the game have an initiative stat. This determines when the character will take their first action once combat starts. To check a character's initiative, right click on the character portrait to bring up the character sheet. Depicted by this pictogram in the tooltips, it can range from 0 to 20. Interesting. The lower the number, the sooner that character will act. Furthermore, if the if several characters occupy the same slot, okay, in the action timeline, the first one to act will be the character with the lowest initiative score. Interesting. All right, so I assume I want to smack you again. Yeah, first try. Ha! Avoided. If a character cannot perform a useful action at the start of their turn, the player may choose to make them perform a wait action. Kiba doesn't have any skills he can use yet, or H can use yet. To make him end his turn, perform the wait action by pressing the corresponding button in the UI or by pressing the space bar. Waiting costs 5 time units, ends their action, and lowers their tension by 5 points. Tension is explained in a later tutorial. Pro tip, sometimes, unless a character can perform a useful fast action, waiting can give a significant tactical advantage by moving a character along the action timeline into a position where they can be more useful. Be smart and learn enemy behavior patterns to optimize your own actions. Every 20 time units, a new combat round will start. 
When this happens, the avoidance tokens of all characters will be restored to their maximum, and all characters will lose 15 points of tension. Pro tip, when deliberately attacking enemies to remove their avoidance tokens, be mindful of how much time there is left before the next combat round, and whether you'll be able to land a hit with any of your characters before this round starts. Your efforts will go to waste if this is timed incorrectly. Okay. Well, since we can't do anything, I'm gonna step up. Yeah! Spacebar. Alright, let's, let's do the murder on this guy. Boop! Down you go, friend. More guts and another dark ether crystal, or ether crystal. Or ether. Very nice. Oh, this looks a little bit scary. Two red eyes stare back from the tree hollow. Whatever they belong to is probably not very friendly. Well, I mean, maybe. Alistair's first skill is currently marked as unavailable for use. Okay. Uh, because the grotesque is out of reach for that skill. All skills that currently have no valid targets will be marked in this manner. To check why this might be happening, you can hover your mouse over the mouse cursor over the skill to check what conditions aren't being met. Targets available has to be melee. Uh, for situations like these, some characters may perform ranged attacks. Alistair's second skill is a fast revolver shot that can be used for situations like these. You can press the 2 key to quickly access it in combat. Ranged skills are represented by this pictogram and the tooltip. Okay. They can be performed from any position on the field. Oh, he's just going to spit at me. That's not cool. Alistair is a sentinel and can provide cover against ranged attacks for all characters standing in the line behind him. Cells that are being covered by a sentinel are marked by a blue helmet symbol. Cool. Uh, okay. Bloop. He did. Victory is ours. We got some teeth. Even a skilled dentist won't be able to put th them back where they belong. Oh no. There is no returning of the teeth. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to probably break off the first episode here. It might be a little while before I come back to this, but I'm definitely intrigued. The game does look like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very curious to see how it all goes. This is just going to be kind of a teaser for a first episode due to the fact that I will be going on vacation. So it's probably going to be another two weeks or so before you see another one. But bear in mind, I will return. I do want to play some more. I might play this a little bit on my vacation and see what's going on. You know, just get a little, little game time on because it does look like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, potentially have quite a bit of tactics too, just from what I've seen this little bit. But maybe, maybe it's not going to be all that tactical. I don't know. I'm curious, I'm interested, and I can't wait to see. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is, and various links and things of that nature. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all the YouTube stuff that you're supposed to do, and I'll see you in the next episode, I guess. Until then, my name is Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later.